welcome Geminis how are you all this is my YouTube channel to channel spirit uh, to bring you your messages for the month of September 2022 thank you for tuning in if you've been here before welcome if you haven't been here before welcome as well and thank you for coming so let's see your messages uh, for September 2022 all right, you know what? As I'm feeling into this energy, oh, let me see. It's sort of, <laughs> it's chopping and changing. It's chopping and changing. As, as soon as I started, I felt uh, relieved, relieved. Um, and it feels like there's been a lot of pressure that's actually come off your shoulders here. Um, but then as I go, I feel the pressure building up again. So I, I feel as though you're going a bit like this at the moment. You're enjoying less pressure and then you need, you're creating more pressure than you're enjoying less pressure and then you're creating more pressure. So let's see what that means. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, you've just had three cards jump out and I feel like I'm being told to get one more these cards are very similar to the last couple of readings i've been doing in different orders and different things will stand out to me so it will never be the same reading even those similarities um but i feel like we're sort of you know moving up and down so let's just see what that means so the first card we get is the shine card beautiful i love that card we get the rebuild card giving and receiving and dedicated effort all right so i really feel like this is a time where you should really be enjoying every aspect of the life you have created um i, I feel like I'm, I'm coming into your energy and i'm looking around and i'm being quite proud of myself so i know that it's a time where you should really be proud of everything you've achieved up until now and you know when we stand in that energy of being grateful we really um, can have no choice but to attract more things to be grateful for. Now, there's no way known, for instance, if you live in a house and sure, it's, it's too small, for example, and you're walking around going, I hate this house, it's too small, I need something bigger. Um, it's going to be really, really hard for you to manifest something bigger. I'm not saying you won't, I'm just saying it's going to be a hard slog because you're not grateful for what you already have. Now, in the energy of going around going, this house is beautiful, it served me well. Yes, it's a little small, but it's been exactly what I needed to get here. I'm very grateful for this home. I'm ready for something bigger. And when you come from that angle, all of a sudden the energy works for you and with you instead of against you making it too hard. So energy is a real thing. So when we use it to our advantage, the universe will start working with us and then you'll manifest that bigger home and it will come to you in divine timing in the perfect flow. Now, I feel like you're using the attitude of gratitude and you're looking around and you're actually quite proud of what you've achieved. And you know what? It's just that warmth in your heart space that I'm really drawn to in this card. It's a shine card. And you know, sometimes I feel like this is where you really shine brightly and all that type of stuff but with this reading I feel like it's just this inner warmth this inner knowing and you know you're proud of yourself and you're, you you don't have to talk about it you don't have to tell everybody about it um, it's not about that it's really just acknowledging um, you know you're the one that uh, got through this pandemic, so to speak. You're the one that did what you had to do to keep your loved ones safe. You're the one that had your opinions, your um, uh, relationships, your experiences and all the rest of it. And you know, you didn't really compare yourself to the next person because they're going through their things with their truth and all the rest of it. And you've just come out on top energetically and, and you're just saying, you know what? I did the best I could with the knowledge I had and the intuition I felt at the time. Um, and you're letting go of any guilt, any resentment, any anger or anything that you've been carrying and it's a really beautiful time for you to build on your gratitude of who you are and where you've got and where you've come from mainly. All right, so it's a really beautiful time. You've really, and this is the rebuild card and and, and, and I feel like you've, you've established that you've really 
uh, I, I don't feel like you're rebuilding, so to speak. I feel like you've rebuilt. You've got a new schedule in place. You've got a new belief system. And you know what? This is working perfectly for you here and now. It may very well change, you know, down the track. And you might change your belief systems and all the rest of it. Who gives a shit? You're allowed. You're allowed. You don't have to have anyone's permission to believe what you believe. But right now, you are satisfied with where you're at, what you've got. And it's okay. I just feel the ease there. So if you have that extra space, take it. Because you're allowed. You're absolutely allowed. Now, also, I feel like transactions with, with relationships is becoming easier too. Because you're feeling like you're more supported than ever before. It's not just you doing all the work. Um, you're, you're really seeing and, and, you know, not taking for granted, that's not the word I'm getting, but that was something that perhaps was peppered through the last few months of, of not realising how much work people are doing around you, feeling quite uh, disconnected and that you were taken for granted yourself but now you're actually seeing it wasn't the case everybody was just doing the best they could with the skill set they've got and now you're realizing that it's more of a team effort around you you're feeling supported and nurtured and understood and heard so there's a lot of this going on this month and it's just a time of you just going you know what hell yeah this is, this is what it's all about. So I feel like there'll be connections and celebrations and, and coming together with the people you love because at the end of the day, all you care about is the people you love and everybody else um, can, can do what they need to do without you having to be responsible for their behaviours, if that makes sense. Um, and you get the dedicated effort card and, and that's purely how you've changed your perspective, you've changed your mind, whether or not you're incorporating meditations here or some real work that's shifted you. Because, you know, uh, through the last couple of years, we've all been in the human existence and there may have been times where we felt the victim to the system or whatever that may look like for you. Uh, but you've just uh, really now coming to a place where you've just gone, you know what? I can only control my universe and everything around me will only affect me if I join in. And you can pick and choose and you're in a really safe space. I really love the energy with this reading, Gemini. Um, and I feel like some of us may be envious of this energy. Um, so just lead by example, stay there, stay there because it's yours. You're in that place of, of being grateful uh, for what you have. And it's really, really special, a really, really special place to be. I really like it. All right, so let's just get a couple more messages here just to see what our spirit would like to give you for the month of September. Uh, you know what, I'm just sitting here pleasantly feeling calm and, and smiling. So I feel like it's a real calm time for you. So that's really nice. Okay, excellent. So we get the temple path. And we get the door to value. So you're really looking at yourself and realizing what you bring. And sure, there's lots of money in this card, but value to you isn't necessarily money. Um, you know, there's aspects of it. I mean, where that's the way the world lives. We need money to get by. And sure, living expenses and, um, you know, the cost of living, all the rest of it's going up. But I feel like in your mindset, you can get through anything this month. You can just keep moving forward because you've got the temple path as well that comes in with it. So you're really on that path of enlightenment, which means that as you go through this month, you'll be looking at everything with that you know, almost through rose-coloured glasses, but not to the aspect where you're being naive by any means. It's more like really just being thankful and moving through. And that's what will bring you, you know, the money will come. It's not like, like you know, if you're in that aspect of, oh my God, you know, my wage is being cut or living expenses have gone up or they're asking for more for my mortgage or I'm paying rent and I'm paying someone else's house off and having these type of mindset and these stories going on you'll get more of that and that isn't you this month you're all about well you know what it is what it is I'm doing my best and you're okay with that and that energy just flows it's absolutely beautiful I absolutely love this reading so let's get you a nice little trinket and it is <laughs> it's just a gorgeous little smiley face I don't know if you can see that 
That's just a little smiley face. And that's you. You're just smiling at situations. Things aren't pissing you off. Like they, you know, people can't press your buttons because you just smile and you see the bigger picture and you just think, don't sweat the small stuff. If you haven't read that book yet, get it on Amazon or the library or Google it or just buy it. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's a really beautiful little handbook. And I feel like you're doing your own don't sweat the small stuff anyway. But, you know, you just flick the page. You read one of the pages for the day. Use that to move forward. And that's where you're at. I really love it. And let's just get a little message here to finish off your reading today. And it is, change is everywhere. Life may seem disrupted. Move with the change and allow yourself to be open to whatever growth this change may bring. And you, you gorgeous Geminis, you're not letting it sway you. You're calling the shots. You've got that smile on your face and sure, change is everywhere. But once you're in that energy, it doesn't matter what happens around you. It's how you react and you're all about it. And I'd like to say congratulations. Great effort. Keep it up. Stay well. And please comment, share, like, subscribe, all those beautiful things. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.